Hey everyone and welcome back to Remember This Tech. Today I'm going to test three different storage mediums for the Orange Pi 5. I'll be using a fast, crucial Gen 4 NVMe drive, 500 gigabyte, a Kyoxia or Toshiba 128 gig, M2 2230 NVMe drive, small micro one, and a Samsung Pro Endurance 256 gig micro SD V30 SD card. So to make it an even playing field for the test results, I'm gonna flash Orange Pi 1.1.6 Ubuntu on each of the storage mediums, the hard drives. These are a recent release from Orange Pie website and I downloaded them and flashed each of them. So hopefully I can answer the question of what drives best for the Orange Pie 5 and what one should you get? So wait till the end of the video and we'll find out the benchmarks and we'll give you my thoughts on it. Come on, let's get started. Oh, there we are, Ubuntu. We are running a uh, Ubuntu on our NVMe. And I, and I want to compare the same version of Ubuntu, speed tests. So I got a few updates done. I uh, installed the graphics drivers just in case I want to play a game later. And I'm testing a speed test here. Got this from uh, James A. Chambers site over here. And he's got an extensive list of things. And I copied the testing performance command right here. I pasted it in here and now hopefully it works. Let's see if it'll execute and run or not. Let's go ahead and try it. All right, it looks like it's uh, testing, so it did work. I could post that link in the description below for this test. This is how we're going to test the NVMe speed versus the, the SD card. And we'll compare the, I had to pull down some stuff now it's running the HD parameter tests. You can see here it's kind of a small font, but hey, now it's running the disk drive tests. It's getting speed, IOPS, 4K tests, and then it spits out some of the results. Um, I want to have to save this, so we're going to call this, all right, so I just called it Crucial NVMe Orange by 5 speed test. So right here are the results. So we'll, I'll take these and we will post them up and compare them between the compact flash and the NVMe speeds with the same operating system. And I pulled up Gparted so that you can see that this is the only drive in the system. After it's been formatted, it's the crucial 500 gig drive. It shows you that this is the drive in here. And that's it, there you go. So if you want to benchmark the drive again, like I did in the others, you just type in, let me see if I can expand this a bit. Um, you want to do sudo curl, HTTPS, um, raw.github user content.com, the remote pi benchmark master storage.sh sudo bash. So that'll go out to GitHub, it'll pull down that and then it'll run it for you and then it will benchmark your drive. So it's got to pull this down then it can benchmark the drive. So give that a few seconds, minute, whatever, and then follow the prompts and then you can do a speed test on your drive. And that's what I'm gonna to do to compare the three different drives. It doesn't take very long. So it finished and then it spits out your results and it's looking similar to what I got for my previous test on the crucial drive, but it got slightly higher score, believe it or not. So I've been putting these in a, a file to compile them and that's what I'm gonna do. I'll put it in a, a Libre Office Writer doc. So far we have a running poll and I'll show you this all at the, in the end of these tests as soon as I do the, the micro SD card to compare. And then you'll know whether or not you should invest in a super fast drive or not. But of course, the NVMe itself, yes, get one, get a run of the mill one, and it's still gonna be better than the micro 
SD card in my humble opinion and we will find out for sure when these tests are complete. All right, I've flashed the micro SD card with a uh, Ubuntu and we are booting up off of it and then we're gonna do the uh, speed test and that should conclude my test so we can do the three comparisons between them. I'll run the benchmarks. We have the system up and running and we are currently doing the benchmark on the micro SD card and we can compare all three. Interesting to see what's what. I can tell you though that either NVMe drive you go with feels a lot snappier and faster of course to me the user as compared to the micro SD card. It's more responsive and I'm sure the test will show that too. See what we come up with. So final thoughts, the NVMe tests and the operating systems that we loaded on them, the newer newer revisions of Ubuntu, your, your uh, interface for the NVMe M2 slot on the Orange Pi 5 is limited. So if you're going to invest in the NVMe for this, get the most storage for your buck, meaning don't go for the fastest drive in the market for the PC realm, like you get 5,000 megabits per second, 7,000, whatever. Stick with the 2,500 at most, maybe 2,000, because this is not going to go any faster than let's say, say to three. So just go for the max capacity that you want and get a reputable brand. But the NVMe drives, are a heck of a lot snappier and a lot faster loading and reading and writing than the micro SD card. So highly recommend you get one. Maybe you'll spend 14 bucks, maybe 27 maybe for a 500 gig, maybe even less if you go real cheap, but it's worth the investment and it can, it can give you a lot more speed and responsiveness out of your Orange Pi 5. So there you have it. I did some of the work for you in testing so you wouldn't have to. I hope you got something out of this video today and thanks for watching. Remember this tech.